You're probably watching this video now because you know that in September 2019, Facebook Ads CBO is going to be mandatory and you don't know what to do. In this video, I'm going to show you what CBOs are and the correct strategy for testing in 2019. Let's get to it. My name is Jeffrey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more content related to e-commerce and dropshipping. Now I am planning to make a video every single day for the next 30 days or so. So if you want to support me in that, be sure to leave a like and comment down below to support me as well. And subscribe if you like my content. Now today, I want to talk about a topic that is, you know, the CBO testing strategy for Facebook ads and e-commerce for 2019. And without further ado, let's get right to it. So first of all, we want to consider what CBOs are. CBO is basically campaign budget optimization. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail about it because I've made a couple of video uh, videos regarding that already, but I just want to explain in simple terms what it means. So basically, CBO means that Facebook will allocate most of your budget to an ad set that's working the most and less of your money towards ad sets that aren't working. And it's going to optimize them accordingly and theoretically it is more cost efficient because Facebook is spending more money on those that's working and less on those that's not. So here's actually an image of what I mean. Um, basically with CBO you can see here the ad set number two for example. Um, if that's performing the best then Facebook's going to spend most of that money within that ad set and less you know, seven dollars and five dollars towards those that are not that efficient and effective. So that's basically what CBO means. So in theory, it should be more cost efficient and save you a lot more money and make your campaigns more profitable um, in the front end. So, you know, how will it work? How does this CBO testing strategy work? Well, basically it's very similar to the um, regular testing strategy um, a lot of people use in dropshipping, which is basically people run $5 ad sets and they run about five to 10 interests and leave it running for about two days or so to see um, you know whether the metrics are good enough for the product to be scaled. Now for CBOs it's going to be a very similar concept. The principle is actually going to be very similar. You're basically going to set the budget the same. So for example if you're doing five dollar ad sets you're going to be doing the same but you're going to do it in the, in the campaign level. So for example if you have five dollar ad sets and you have 10 interests you're going to be spending fifty dollars a day in total. So you're just going to move that fifty dollars to the campaign level and it's at fifty dollars. So for example, right here, as I wrote, it's going to be a $50 budget with 10 interest each. And if you don't know what I mean, don't worry, I can actually show you later. So just stay tuned until the end of the video. So, you know, but the caveat to this is that very product dependent. And you know, it's, might, it's something you might have to consider because you know, you might have to utilize more or less interest depending on the price of the product or the margins. So typically a higher ticket product or higher margin requires um, less interest to test and that means Facebook will allow you to spread more of that budget towards you know the ad sets more equally so I would recommend about five to seven interests if that's the case usually for higher ticket items that means like it's items that are above forty dollars or fifty dollars or above and higher margins I would say um, anything above like a thirty dollar margin or something like that conversely um, for low ticket items and margins you would look for more interest so that Facebook can spend more of your budget more freely and then we would look into about 10 interests each so the reason is as I said because you know you can Facebook will spread more of your budget too thin if uh, you have a bunch of uh, ad sets for a high ticket item and that would be hard to uh, get proper people to reach and um, just you know weaker data in general at the end of the day it's up to you but i would just suggest less interest um, the higher margins and the higher ticket your item is i just want to mention quickly about the stability of cbos um, you know cbos can still be quite volatile and inconsistent as you know it's still in the beta stages i would say um, it's not really completely complete yet although it's almost there but um you know as such i would leave you know the CBO campaigns for about 24 hours in the first day or so so um, you're going to need time for it to optimize and stabilize so I would leave it for at least 24 hours and um, wait until it collects enough data for you to say anything about it so you know 40 hours is usually the best I would say but 24 hours has to be the, the bare minimum even if that's the case you should leave 
Um, if you see anything that has you know bad statistics, like anything above a two dollar cost per pick or like a really really high CPMs, CPMs like thirty dollars, forty dollars, or even fifty dollars or above, then it would it might be more wise to kill it and replace the ad set with um, you know a newer interest, for example. Um, you know, for example, if you have uh, ten ad sets and one of them is working, you can just just turn off the one of the ad sets, never delete them, turn them off, and then replace it with something uh, very similar to uh, another ad set that's working or something like that. Usually, if you have bad metrics like that, usually it means that the audience isn't too keen on your product and they have no interest. They haven't shown any interest in the product that you have to offer. So, usually, it's just a good way to do that is just to um, you know kill the product and kill the ad set itself. So let me show you in practice what I mean basically by all that. So here I'm just, I just have my dummy ads manager. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna click on create ad right here. And then we're gonna click on create new campaign. And then we're always gonna do conversion campaigns because um, ultimately you'd want to have sales in the e-commerce website. So conversion is the best objective to choose for e-commerce because you want to get sales and get sales data as well. For campaign name, um, usually there's a convention for it. I would just do something like uh, if you're doing big four countries to target, you might put something like big four, and then you're gonna do something like uh, code interests, code traffic, or maybe like in the beginning you would do like I don't know the name of the product somewhere like uh, kitchen tool whatever code traffic, and then test. CBO, something like that. Makes it more organized that way. So that's what you're gonna do. And then here you're gonna press, you're gonna turn on campaign budget optimization. And then we're gonna leave at $50 to start off. Should be enough money to test the product. For here, we're just gonna do something similar. There's gonna be another name convention. So for example, if we're doing kitchen tool, we might do something like kitchenware, kitchenware. And then I would do like, um, like that. And then gender, I would do um, male and female in this case, but if it's very specific, you would do just woman only or men only. But in this case, we're just gonna leave it as general. So I'm not gonna leave, I'm not gonna put anything down. So next I'm gonna do age, um, the age range. Usually for this, I would do something like 23 plus. Um, but you know, of course, if it's um, very specific to an age range, I would just do something like 24 to 50 or something like that. But right now we're just gonna leave it to 23 plus. And then for the ad, we're just gonna do um, same name, doesn't really matter. Uh, kitchenware, creative one, whatever. And then you'll do safety draft. So after that, you're going to go in to the CBO campaign. And as you can see, this is the budget here. It says, you know, using campaign budget. That's a good thing, right? After that, you're just going to go down here and then always click on purchase conversions because that's what you want to optimize for ultimately. And then you're just gonna fill in everything the same way. Now, if you're big four, for example, in this case, we're doing big four, we're just gonna do the big four countries like that. Like, um, United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia. If we're doing woman only, we'll just do woman only. But in this case, we're doing both genders. So we're gonna leave this as this. And then we're gonna do 23 plus. So we're gonna scroll down, click on 23. And then, in this example, we did kitchenware as an example, as an interest. So we can just target like kitchenware and then leave like that. For placements, it's really up to you. Um, usually, what people do is leave it as is and do mobile only and do Facebook feeds and Instagram feeds. But what I, like, what I like to do is either do edit placements with all devices or automatic placements because Facebook can, will can kind of choose which placement will work best uh, based on what you give them. So. You know, Facebook is this very smart algorithm. Um, I would just let them, you know, do all the work for us because they know best um, where to put the placements and who best to target. So I would rely on that more. So anyway, we're just gonna keep it as one seven day click or one day view. Usually that's what I like to do. Um, if you're doing lower ticket items, you could think of doing one day click or one day click review. But if you're doing a middle middle ticket item like forty dollars or fifty dollars, then I would just do seven days of one click view. That's probably the best option for you. So after that, yeah, we're just gonna go in and then you're just gonna make the ads. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is we're gonna make the CBO testing campaign. So what you're gonna do in this case is we're going to duplicate this interest uh, four times because we 
we said we we're gonna do five interests per per um, per campaign if we're doing middle ticket item. Now, if you're doing low ticket, then we would suggest doing ten. But right here, we're just going to do uh, five for now in total for this instance. So for every one of these interests, you're gonna do every one of these ad sets. You're gonna do a different interest that's related. So we're gonna do cooking here. Uh, we can do, for example, something similar. You can go down to suggestions. Go to like um, cooking show recipes. Uh, the third one can be you know, cookbook, something like that. Or you can look into brands, magazines, stuff like that that's related to your niche. So, for example, in kitchen, you're gonna find kitchen at magazines, kitchen brands, uh, maybe like some uh, kitchenware brands, whatever. Uh, just trying to find at least five to ten interests. And then once you've done that, you're just gonna click on publish. So that's basically how it is. Um, it's very similar to like an automatic bid, ad set, budget level, ad set. So the only difference is you're gonna set the budget at fifty dollars in the campaign level. CBO can actually be a make or break. I think this is worth talking. Um, as I said, CBOs is still considered in beta, so it might be wise for you to um, test both automatic bid, um, you know, ad set budget, ad sets and really compare the results, you know, because who knows, maybe the other will work better for you, but the best way to know is really to test it yourself, as um, it's really hard to say, as it can vary depending on ad accounts and products and stuff like that. Now, TBOs can actually work extremely well or it may flop, so really, it's really down to your experimentation and seeing what works for you. So that's about it for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And be sure to subscribe if you're new, and I would really appreciate support for this challenge where I upload video every single day for 30 days straight. So if you're interested, let me know down below and comment down below to show your support. And I'll be sure to read your comment and answer any questions you might have. Now that's about it for me today and I hope you have a good day and thanks for watching. Take care.